Hi, welcome to a really busy Azoo stand at Computex. I'm here with Cliff, and oh. Cliff's got a huge graphics card down here. Yes. Now, right. at first guess, I thought it was a GTX 680. Yes. Then I had a second guess, and I thought it was a GTX 690. Oh. But, it's, but it's neither of those two. So do okay. tell us what it is. Uh, this is our Mark three with uh, two GTX uh, 680 uh, GPU uh, with uh, 8 gigabyte memories. Uh, I believe it will be the fast card in the world. Okay, now we can see uh, we uh, use more power design in our PCB, okay, and uh, with our one percent fan speed click. Uh, button you can click this button to make sure your performance is better. Okay. So just to recap, there it's two GTX 680s yes. on one card, and yes. therefore it should be slightly faster than a GTX 690, just sure. because it is clocked in slightly higher. Yes. Now, can you confirm the clock speeds? Can you confirm uh, any type of launch frame, or can you confirm anything at all? Okay. Uh, let's. Because it's just uh, in our design status, so we can confirm the uh, details back. Okay. Got, give me some inkling. Give me some idea uh, of what we can expect. Um, I think uh, the, the class B uh, is higher than the reference class. Uh, since 90. Mm. Okay. So what you're hoping for is that up until this card comes out, yeah. Nvidia doesn't come out with a faster card, like a 690 plus. <laughs> um, we uh, we want a uh, user can bring this car to enjoy the best performance uh, because uh, yes so okay as a recap then this is basically two GTX 680s on one PCB yeah. with four gigabytes of memory per GPU yeah. and with clock speed you've not yet determined if you just pass it over to me okay. I can confirm it's a very <laughs> solid piece of work. <laughs> Um, it should come out in Q3 and cost about a thousand dollars, maybe, or maybe a bit more. Uh, the price is not confirmed yet, but I think uh, it will uh, launch in Q3. Okay. Okay. Right. Thanks very much, Cliff. Oh, thank you. So we've got a few details on the Mars 3 card. It's out in Q3, so probably September, October, and it should be the world's fastest graphics card. Only time's going to tell. <laughs>